Do you know that if batteries are disposed of in the soil or water, harmful substances like lead, cadmium, mercury, and other waste will gradually leak into the surrounding environment, causing soil and groundwater pollution? If they are burned along with waste, it will cause air pollution. What happens when we recycle them? Why has battery recycling technology only started to develop now? Let's explore this together with the Iron Hand Tech channel right now. First, let's explore the process of recycling old batteries. It starts with collection and sorting. Old batteries are collected from various sources. Previously, it was very difficult to find a collection point for old batteries, but now it is not hard to find collection points of different scales. After being transported to the factory, they are sorted by different types of batteries, such as alkaline, lithium ion, lead acid, etc. Because each type of battery has different chemical components, requiring specific processing methods to ensure safety and efficiency. They are also sorted by battery size and condition. After sorting, the batteries will enter the pretreatment stage. This process may include disassembly, crushing, shell separation, and sterilization. For larger batteries, we will disassemble parts, such as the casing and terminals, for easier handling. The batteries will be crushed into tiny particles which is especially useful for alkaline and zinc carbon batteries. Concurrently, the shell separation process also takes place. The plastic casing surrounding the battery will be removed to expose the core containing valuable metals. Finally, to ensure the safety of workers, all equipment and tools will be thoroughly sterilized. This helps eliminate harmful substances and bacteria that could pose health risks. The most crucial stage in the battery recycling process is the extraction of metals. Factories will use chemical and physical methods to extract valuable metals such as lithium, cobalt, and nickel. The chemical composition of each type of battery will determine the appropriate extraction method. If high purity precious metals are to be recovered, more complex methods need to be used. Alkaline and zinc carbon batteries typically use hydrometallurgical methods. The batteries are crushed and then soaked in an acid or alkaline solution to dissolve the metals. Lithium ion batteries use hydrometallurgical methods or physical methods such as size classification and magnetic fields to separate different components. Lead acid batteries primarily use metallurgical methods. Additionally, there is the electrolysis method using electric current to separate metal ions from the solution, or the biological method, using microorganisms to absorb and accumulate metals. After the extraction phase is the refining phase. In this stage, the obtained metals will be refined to achieve high purity. The refining method used in this stage also depends on the chemical properties of each metal. Metals like lead or copper, which have relatively low melting points, are often refined using metallurgical methods to remove impurities and obtain pure metals. Nickel is refined through electrolysis, where metallic nickel is deposited on the cathode. Lithium is usually refined by recrystallization from a solution. Each extraction or refining method has different costs. The pure metals are used to produce new batteries, alloys, or other products. It is a process for recycling old batteries, so why has the technology for recycling old batteries not been prioritized in the past and has not really developed strongly even now? Previously, when electric vehicles were not yet developed, household appliances were the most common battery-operated items, making them the largest source of old batteries. However, the amount of old batteries discarded was not large enough. So all the costs to recycle this volume of batteries were much higher than extracting new ones from nature. Not to mention the complexity and danger in the recycling process, as the recycling technology was not sufficiently developed due to society's lack of interest in developing battery recycling technology.
However, the reality shows that with the current rate of electric vehicle production, by 2040, 5,750,000 tons of lithium ion batteries will be discarded. The concentration of these metals, as well as lithium and manganese, exceeds the concentration in natural ores, making used batteries look like high-grade ore. If the metals, which currently account for more than half the cost of a new battery, are recovered from used batteries on a larger and more economical scale than from natural ores, the price of new batteries will decrease. Therefore, startups are commercializing new battery recycling technologies. At the end of 2018, Tesla's chief technology officer, Straubel, founded Redwood Materials, a next-generation mining company near Carson City, to answer his own question. Why not start a company that would extract metals from factory scrap and used electronics, then return lithium, cobalt, and graphite ready for them to use in producing new batteries? His company has saved tons of useful metals for new battery production and is more cost-effective than traditional mining due to its research and use of modern, efficient, and safe battery recycling technology. In addition to focusing on electric vehicle battery recycling, the recycling of old batteries from solar panels and other used batteries is also being emphasized, as each old battery contains a treasure trove of valuable metals such as lithium, cobalt, nickel, Recycling batteries brings many benefits, reducing soil, water, and air pollution, reducing the demand for mining, saving energy. Battery recycling creates many jobs and boosts the economy, contributing to building a clean green future for sustainable development. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it interesting and useful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Now goodbye and see you in the next video.